Disney developed a way to talk with your fingertips. Also, they're going to completely destroy your movie-going experience. We talked about Disney's research lab before back in July. Scott showed you how they turn 2D photos into 3D models, as well as their haptic feedback device that shoots air in your face while gaming or watching movies. Now, Disney Research wants you to tell your friends their latest tech secret through your fingertips. The House of Mouse developed a device that transmits sound through touch. The Ishin Den Shin technology takes sound spoken into a microphone and morphs it into a high amplitude, low power, inaudible signal. The signal is transmitted through the body of the person holding the mic. Then when that person touches someone else's ear, that signal vibrates the listener's earlobe, turning it into a speaker that delivers the message. It sounds similar to a whisper. So what's the point of this? There isn't one. Well, aside from being able to run around a room with your friend taking turns transmitting poop jokes into each other's earlobes. And now for some bad news. Remember The Little Mermaid? A Disney classic, right? Well, it's returning to theaters in the worst way possible. And no, I don't mean 3D. The Little Mermaid is returning to theaters this month with what they call the second screen live experience. Disney wants you to bring your iPad to the theater and experience the 24-year-old classic like never before by not watching it at all and instead playing games on your tablet the whole time. That's right, kids. Download the free app, head to the theater, and collect hidden treasure while ignoring the crap out of a beloved animated classic. Have you ever been annoyed by the bright light of someone sending a text or checking out Twitter on their phone during a movie? Well, imagine that light is coming from an iPad. Now imagine that times 20, surrounding you from all directions. Why? Why Disney? I mean, look at this. Why are they lifting their iPads in the air? Aren't they blocking the view of the person behind them? And what about battery life? Those seats don't come with power sockets. Say your iPad runs out of juice halfway through Kiss the Girl. Now you've got a crying child on your hands. Way to go, Mom. Why would they do this in a theater? Wouldn't this be better and less annoying at home? Or better yet, why don't you actually watch the movie? It's a classic for a reason, and this may be your one chance to see it on the big screen. I was curious to see what the YouTube audience thought about this, but in a cowardly move, Disney disabled comments for the promo video. However, there were about a thousand more dislikes than likes at the time of this writing. So I turn to you, dear Tech Feed audience. What do you think of bringing iPads to the movie theater for a second screen live experience? Let us know in the comments. For TFN, this is Chastity. Oh my God. <laughs>